guys. I'm just checking to make sure this is working. I'm hoping it does. It says I'm alive. Am I alive? What is life? What is life? Here we go. I've got comments popping up. Um, I don't know. Is am I supposed to look for the like the emotion bubbles? Yeah. Oh, I think I may have to start this one more time. Do you, oh wait, no, here we go. I'm getting bubbles. Thank you guys. Okay, perfect. Now we're working. We are up and running. Speaking of running, um, we're having a day on set where we have two units going. We're picking up all the little pieces of green screen and this, that, and the other that we need to finish up, as well as finishing up our last episode of season three. So, it's kind of a crazy day of running around myself, but I just ran up here from set because I have a little bit of free time, and I thought I'd say hey to you guys and live tweet the episode. We may or may not have a few others on the way, let's see. Um, but I am here for you to answer any questions you might have. Um, but I will say we've gotten a lot of questions as to the Clay Starter Pack that I spoke about, <laughs> um, which is, if, for those of you who don't know, it's uh, tissue, ice cream, and something to cuddle with. With the cuddle, cuddle object of your choice. Uh, and people have been asking about how many boxes of tissues. I would say as many as you can find. Uh, but, you know, don't overdo because we love trees. <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now. This is good. Uh, Renew Shadowhunters was trending on Twitter. That's awesome. Well, we're hoping to hear soon. We, we don't know yet, but I will keep you all apprised as I get information. Describe this episode in one word. Mm. Blood. It's a pretty bloody episode, I gotta say. Which, for that reason, we happen to have blood. This is, I mean, it's fake. But this is, this is um, how they bring fake blood onto set. I don't know if this is the... Drinkable mouth blood? Oh yeah, this is edible blood. So this is the blood that they put in our mouths, that if we have to drink it, or if we have to lick it, or if we have to, you know, do anything, have it dripping out of our mouths, have it, you know, in any way, shape, or form, around. <laughs> Somewhere where we might have to eat it. We use this, and they have it in these lovely little jugs. Um, some of you might wonder what it tastes like. It's... I think it's the mint flavored one. It's like very sweet and very minty. It's also very thick. It's, it's, it's strange stuff. Um, how was filming the Jason Clary fight scene? This was one of my favorite fights that we've done. Um, Dom and I have done so many fight, fighting, training, sparring scenes together at this point that we understand each other's rhythms when we fight and it, it makes it a lot of fun. And we also, um, I feel like we also really trust each other, <laughs> like, it takes a lot to trust a person swinging a sword at your face, you know, or throwing a kick at you, or punching you, or, you know, holding you by the neck over a, the edge of a building, which we've all seen happens in this episode, uh, which, it's very, very exciting, I'm, I can't wait for you guys to see this, and it's directed by Josh Butler, who's awesome, uh, we love Josh Butler, brownie and cookie dough ice cream, that works great. Uh, your Clay's heart is not going to die in this episode. Let me just put it that way. But it's going to, it's going to go through a rough patch. You know, you're going to, you're going to need, you're going to need some comfort, I think. Um, I am sad I'm filming the last episode of this season. You know, it's, I, I'm sad, but I'm not. It's very funny. It's like the end of a school year, in a sense, that you, um, you're excited because, you know, you get time off and you get to go do fun things and, and see, t kind of take a break and, you know, sleep a little bit. But, uh, but then it's, you know, it's sad because I love the crew and I love the cast and coming here every day, they've kind of become my family. So it's, um, it'll be sad to leave, but we're hoping to be back. How will this ep tie into the finale? This episode really starts to set everything up for the finale, if I'm honest. Uh, it's, it's sort of the beginning of the end, if you will. Um, are we going to have a, uh, let's see. Oh, you guys have so many good questions. 
What do I, oh, what's my favorite thing to do to prepare before set? Um, honestly, I love the process of, of going through the hair and makeup of the show. Because as we get our runes on and as we, you know, get the makeup on and get to set and put our holsters on and, and go through all of that, we sort of become the characters. And it's, it's kind of shedding one skin and putting on another as it all comes together. My favorite episode this season? This is one of my favorite episodes. Uh, that'll be, th this is one of my favorites, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing this one. Uh, but I don't know, it'll be fun. Filming the Halloween episode was super fun. That was also directed by Josh Butler, coincidentally enough. Uh, it was really cool, because we, we don't often get to do kind of mundane things on our set, and, uh, having people in Halloween costumes and doing all this spooky stuff, having cobwebs around that actually were supposed to be fake, as opposed to cobwebs that we put in. Um, but it felt oddly normal, which also made me realize a lot about the show and how... Anyway, it was very funny. It was like, wait, this oddly feels normal, and yet it's a Halloween episode. I don't know. My favorite rune? Hmm... Uh, I love the angelic rune, I think. It was, it was the first one that um, shadow hunters are supposed to get, and I love what it stands for. You know, it's, it's a symbol of strength, but it's also a symbol of angelic power, and, and it's kind of the trademark of the shadow hunters, if you will. I am watching the episodes. Uh, I'm, I'll be watching and tweeting with you guys in a few minutes. If any new creature would be added to the show, we were talking about this yesterday. I was talking about this with, who was it? It was uh, Alberto and Emerald and I were talking about this. We want to see mermaids. I mean, I mean, maybe we should just do a crossover with Siren. I don't know. We'll see. That'd be great, in my humble opinion. <laughs> What's up with Clary and Alex's relationship? It's funny you mention that. Because Clary and Alex's relationship does go through some stuff tonight. So, y'all might want to pay attention. No, but here's the thing. It's, it's, it's kind of unfortunate. I love the Clary and Alex friendship. It's one of my favorites on the show. But it's gone through such a rough patch. They were so good. Like, at the end of season two, they were so solid. They were so on the same page. And, you know, Alec was actually making her part of the team. And he was trusting her with stuff. And then they had to go and make this secret. And it's like, come on, guys. Let's not, let's not, <laughs> let's not ruin this friendship that we worked so hard to build. Um, because now it's under strain. Because Clary's torn between wanting to do the right thing by Alec. But then also... She's torn because she can't betray Jace, and she can't drag Alec into it because then he's in just as much trouble as they are. So it's a bit of a catch-22, and we will see how it all shakes out. Uh, but there's a lot going on tonight that will indicate how their relationship is moving forward. And that's all I can say, folks. Uh, which creature would I like to be? I would like to be a warlock, if I had to choose one. Um, cause they're, you know, they're the healers, they help people out, they do all that stuff, but then also, I just think they're so cool. Like, all the warlocks on our show are so wicked and so badass. I think it's pretty great. I'm glad you love the Clay's fight. What can I say about Gia Penhallow? Listen, Gia causes some stuff. And it's a lot. And I can't say really anything about her without spoiling things. So, I don't know. I have to be coy. I'm sorry, guys. I want to tell you everything, but I can't. They won't let me. I'll get in trouble. And plus, then it's not as much fun, because then you don't get to be surprised. And I'm not one to ruin a surprise. Is there anything I would change about my character? I'd like her to listen a little more. I mean, I get that she's brazen, and I love that about her, that she's brazen, and she's strong, and she has conviction. Um, but I think it would be interesting to see 
growth in her in that she would listen a bit more to people and that as she would listen she would be able to um, kind of grow from that and and be challenged further to find new solutions that make more sense um, and sort of ha learn from other characters and work with them and, and do all of that and she's learning to do that that is something that happens as the season continues so that's very exciting so I'm gonna I'm gonna open my Twitter and see what other questions we've got going um, let's see you guys have so many great questions though I've got two devices going this is a lot this is a lot you guys but we're gonna get through it together ooh hey guess what ten minutes till the episode which scene was the hardest to shoot um I think one of the hardest episodes or one of the hardest scenes was the fight, but but not the fight part. It was the part of him holding me over the uh, side of the thing because of the how the wires had to be arranged. You know, Dom literally had to push against my wire to hold me out over the thing, and I had to push against his arm to help him be able to do that. It was a whole thing, um, and then there was somebody to pull my hips back so my face wouldn't hit the hit the thing as I went down. It was, there was, there was a lot going on, but it's, you know, kudos to our incredible stunt team because they know exactly how to do it and they know exactly how to keep everyone safe. Um, and safety is always their number one priority and I applaud them for that. Please, anything about Malik? You asked me to say anything about Malik, so I did. No, um, I'm trying to remember what happens to Malik in this episode. Uh, I know that they're both together with me, and then I don't know what happens after that. When we shoot all these episodes, and then it's so long before they air, it all kind of blends together. So I don't know what happens when, unless it's the storyline that I actually shot. Because I hear it at the table read, and then I don't see it again until it airs. Um, so I don't actually know. But I know they have scenes together. <laughs> I know they're in the episode. Uh, yeah, that's all I know. Oh, here's a good question. Do you think if Clary knew the consequences of the wish she made, she wouldn't have brought Jace back? I don't think so. And this is, this is why it was such an impossible choice. Because she would never have not brought Jace back. That's never going to be something that she regrets doing. But... Perhaps she would have tried to find another way or have tried a different solution if she would have known what the consequences were or could have taken more precautions. Um, all right, I'm going to do a couple more questions and then I have to wrap it up so we can all get ready to watch the episode. What do you think about the relationship between Clary and Jace in this episode? Um, I think it's pretty, you know, full of conflict. Because Jace is not really Jace anymore. So it's, uh, it's a struggle and it's a fight, but it's one that she's not going to lose. She's not going down without a fight, let me put it that way. As we can see. <laughs> uh, I'm, gosh, I'm so excited for you guys to see this. Uh, let's see. Give me a couple more questions. Claire make a new rune anytime soon. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know if Clary makes any new runes, but there is a new rune coming. I'll tell you that much. Oh, uh, see, okay, I love this question, but I can't answer it. Someone asked if there were any book scenes I wanted to see on the show. And I'll say yes, and I'll say they've happened, and I'll say we've shot them, but I can't talk about them yet. So... We see long-term effects to Clary after this ep. Oh, yeah. So this episode starts a chain of events that will lead to a lot of long-term effects for all of the characters. Um, so it'll be very interesting to see what happens yet. And on that note, I am going to bid you adieu as we turn to watching the episode. Um, and take a peek in a couple minutes at my Twitter and Instagram because I'm going to put up a slightly... I'm going to put up a video that I think you guys are going to be very interested in. It's very short, but it's all I can post before the episode airs. So, check it out. Talk to you guys later. Bye!